Welcome. This video is going to demonstrate how to make the parts of a Lego character. To start with, I'm going to make the Lego head. So to begin with, I'm going to go up to New. Make sure metric selected and then select Standard Millimeters and click Create. Make is going to be a for a revolve, so we're going to make half the Lego head. So I'm going to select one of the work planes, one of the vertical work planes. This one will do fine just here. And I'm going to start to sketch. Now, the Lego head's quite small. So I'm going to start by drawing a rectangle to get the right proportions and then uh, I draw the correct profile inside that rectangle. I'm going to start with the rectangle tool. I'm going to select it inside, or the yellow dot here should I say in the center. I'm going to draw out the size I need. Now I can do this in two ways. I can either, uh, I want to just click the yellow dot and I'm moving the, the mouse across. I can either just type the size in just now or I can use the dimension tool. I'll show you both ways. So with the mouse in this position here, I can type the height I'm looking for, which is 11. I can then hit the tab key on the keyboard and then type the width, in this case I want 5. If I enter, I'll make the rectangle to be the correct size. The other way you can do this, if I just click the, the back button, is to draw a rectangle uh, to any size. I can then use the dimension tool, select a line, move it to the side and click. I can then type the size I'm looking for and hit enter. Again, let's do the horizontal line at the top here, and this is going to be 5. Again, I can click and hit enter to make the correct size. Now, I'm just going to zoom in using the zoom all button. So inside this rectangle, I now want to draw the profile that I'm looking for. So, to do that, I'm using the line tool. I'm going to come across, and I'm going to find, first of all, the center along the top. Um, and then I'm going to draw a line down the way. Now the line down the way, I want to draw to a certain size. We want to make it 2 millimeters in length. So if I have the mouse so it's vertical, I can type in 2, hit enter, and I've got a line that's 2 in length. Then I'm going to draw a line across horizontally to the sides until it gets to the edge, like so. At the bottom, I want to select the middle line at the bottom. So again, I'm looking for a green dot to find the center. And I want to do a vertical line this time. This size wants to be 6. You can hit enter to put the size in and draw a line horizontally across to the left. And then finally I want to do a bit down the bottom corner here. Um, for this I'm just going to draw roughly where I need it to be. So I'm going to click on this line, do a vertical line. This vertical line wants to be a size of 1. I'm then going to draw a line across to the side. Now I'm not going to put a size in that line just yet. Uh, I'm going to come up to the dimension line. I'm going to select that line and I'm going to make that 1.5. Now at the moment I've got all my lines in place, but I need to make it so it's a, a, a profile that will be usable. So I need to remove some of these lines. So I need to delete these edges off on the corners here. So to do that, I'm using the trim tool. And now this might move some sizes. If it does, I'll show you what to do. So I'm going to start by just trimming this line here. The dotted uh, line, the uh, white dots along it, will be trimmed. So I want to do that line there and this line here. This one in the corner. This one at the top. And this one here. Now that's moved my profile, which I didn't quite like. So what I'm going to do, just to make it easier, is click the back button. And instead of using the trim tool, we hit escape, select my line, delete it, and then just draw a line in between. Looking for green dot to green dot, and I'll get the correct profile shape. What I want to do is hit the finish sketch button, and we have our profile shape in place. Now this head is going to be made using a revolve tool. So I'm going to select Revolve on the top left here. And on the, the software, it's going to ask me to select an axis. The axis I want to select is this vertical line just here. And it's going to spin it around full, which is 360 degrees, to create the head in place. I then want to go and round off some of these corners here. Now, Inventor rounding is Fillet. So if I select the Fillet button, I want to select this edge and the bottom edge. And the size I'm going to make will be 1. There we have the Lego head. The next part we're going to make is the Lego torso. Again, we're going to go up to New, Slight Metric, Standard Millimeters, and then click the Create button. When the file opens, we're going to start by doing an extrusion. So I'm going to use the pencil tool to draw my sketch. I'm going to select the vertical work plane, and on this work plane, I'm looking to draw a rectangle with some tapered sides. Now to draw this a rectangle with tapered sides, which will form the body of the torso, 
I want to start by drawing a rectangle. And the rectangle is going to be 15 millimeters long and 13 tall. So I'm going to use the rectangle tool. I'm going to select the center point. And again, there's two options for drawing this to the right size. I can just put the sizes in at the moment. I've just clicked once in the center. So vertically, I'm looking for it to be 13. So you can type in 13. Hit the tab key and then type in 15. And that'll make it to the correct size. Or what I can do, just click the back button, is to draw the rectangle any size. I can then use the dimension tool, select the vertical line. So I'm clicking once on the line and clicking again. And I can then type the size in, which is 13. I can then click on the horizontal line, click once more, and then type the size, which is 15. Now I'm looking for tapered edges, so something like the mouse's movement just now. Okay, so what I'm looking to do is use the line tool. And from here, I'm going to start by finding the center point at the top. Now the center point is represented by a green dot. So we click there, I want to draw a line out to the right hand side, that's 5.5 in length. I then want to take from that point, you can see it's wanting to do another line. So from that point, I want to take that down to the bottom corner. Again, I'm waiting for a green dot, like so. I then do the same to the left, so back to the, the top, find the green dot, move to the left this time, type in 5.5, and then draw a line diagonally down to the bottom left hand corner. Now I've got my lines in place, and I want to remove the lines I don't need, so I have an outline profile shape. So I'm going to start by hitting the escape key. And I'm going to select and then delete these lines. Now I'm using the button that says delete on the keyboard, not in the backspace, to remove those lines in place. So it's going to put a dimension on here to maintain that size. There we go. And one here. So that's our profile shape drawn for the body of the torso, the main part of the torso. And I'm going to click the finish button. And we're then going to extrude that in place. So we're looking to extrude this out by 8 millimeters. So in the pop-up window box here, where it says uh, 10 millimeters in my screen, I'm looking to type in 8 and hit enter. Next step is to do the neck. Now the neck, we're going to start by clicking the pencil once more. But the difference is we're not going to select a work plane to draw on. We're going to select a surface. We're going to start by selecting top surface. So that's where I like to draw the neck. Now, I'm just going to zoom in. So at the neck, we're looking to draw, or for the neck, we're looking to draw a circle. So take the circle tool, and in the center, roughly, I'm going to click and move my mouse out to create a circle. Now I'd like a circle to be drawn at 5 millimeters. So whilst the blue rectangle is on the screen, I'm going to type in 5 and hit enter. I then want to use the dimension tool to get it in the center. So if you click the dimension tool, what I can do is click the line of the circle, not the center point, the line, and then the outside edge of the model. If I do that, and then type a size, I can then put it in the center. Now the full length was 15, half of 15, 7.5. I can get it in the center vertically as well. So we click the line, circle edge, and the top edge, for example, I can then bring it across. Now this was extruded out by eight millimeters originally, so that's eight, so half of eight is four. And now I've got this circle exactly in the center. We can then just hit the finish sketch button. And we can then extrude that. So when I click the extrude button, it's automatically selected the circle profile. If it doesn't, just click inside the circle. And we can extrude this up the way. And we're going to extrude it up by 6 millimeters. So again, this space just here, we can type in 6 and hit the OK button. Next step is to do the, the, bit on the, uh, the, the hole in the bottom. So to do the hole in the bottom, I'm going to rotate it around. Again, remember, we're going to hold down the shift key on the keyboard, middle mouse button, and rotate around so we can see the base. I'm looking to draw a rectangle in here, which will allow us to connect this to the pelvis later on. So start by clicking the pencil, select the bottom surface, I'm going to zoom in. We then want to draw a rectangle that's going to be 12 millimeters along the way and six up. So select the rectangle tool. I'm going to draw roughly where I need. Um, so I'm looking for it to be 6 up, so I can type in 6 with the blue rectangle uh, visible. Hit the tab key, type in 12, and I get the rectangle to be the correct size. Now what we need to do is get it in the center. To get it in the center, I'm going to use the dimension tool, just like we did with the neck. I'm going to start by selecting the edge of this rectangle here and the edge of the base, and I'm going to 
place my dimension line. Now this size here, well, the whole base is 15 millimeters along, and this is only 12, which means we should we need we've got a gap of three, or we need to work out what this guy's and this size would be. Now this and this needs to add up to three, so we divide three by two. I have no size should be 1.5. Likewise, I can do the same, so I can select this line and the top one and do the same vertically. If the whole width of this is 8 and this is 6, gives a difference of 2. Divide 2 by, by 2, I've got 1, and I can get the size of 1, which positions the rectangle centrally. I can then hit the Finish button, again, rotate it in 3D so you can see what's happening. And we're looking to then extrude that, so I can select the rectangle this time. Now, what you'll notice is the rectangle is coming out towards you, the arrow's coming in this direction here. So we need to make that go in the way. If I click the opposite direction on these parts in the pop-up window, it'll go in the way and actually cut into the material. And we're looking to go in the way by 3 millimeters. So I can change that to 6 to 3. And it says I want to make sure the subtract button, inventor calls it cut, but I want you to know it's subtract to make sure that's cut away and we've got that hole created. Okay, last step on the torso, we're looking to put holes in that side to attach the arms. So just like we did before, we select the pencil and select the edge of the model. Then I'm going to draw a circle, roughly where I want it to be, so about here. As I drag this, or move the mouse out to create the circle, I can type the size. Now I like this circle size to be 4. And then to position it, we're going to use the dimension tool. So I'm going to select the circle, the line, the edge of the model, and I'm going to make this size here. And I want to select the line, the edge of the circle, and this top edge, and I want to make that 4 as well. So 4, 4, and 4. And then hit finish, rotate it in 3D, and extrude that. So click the circle, and I'd like this to go in the way by 3 millimeters. At the moment now it's pointing out, so I'm going to click the opposite direction. It's now going in the way. Make sure you subtract selected. I've already got 3 in this box, and I've got 3. And I saw a circle extruded in by three. Same on this other side. You can select the surface with the pencil, draw the circle. Now be careful, it might try and pick out the point on the other side, which might not be helpful in this case. So I'm just going to make sure I'm not clicking on anything, any lines or points. So there's my circle. I'm going to type in four. I'm going to use the dimension tool, select the circle on the outside edge, make that four, which it is. The circle, this top edge here. Make that four. There we go. Making it finish. Again, rotate it in 3D. And we can extrude this circle in the way by three. Make sure subtract selected. And we've got the torso, torso made.